Caution, fun is about to begin. Good morning. Time is currently 6.30. <sighs> Last night, I booked a workout, like running class to force myself to get up in the morning and I don't. I literally don't know how I used to like shoot out of bed every day in the morning. I don't know what the f*** was wrong with me, but I would literally like shoot out of bed at 6 in the morning. Does it look like I did that today? All right, this is the outfit. Um, the shorts are from Set Active, and then this top is from Nike. I got an Equinox membership like two months ago because there's like a bunch of classes with that membership, and I was like, oh, it's gonna add up. But for the amount that I've been going, it is definitely not added up. But you know what? Oh, all the dumb shit that I could be buying, wasting money on a gym membership and not going all the time is honestly not the worst because at least knowing that it's always an option. And on the days like this, when I actually do have the motivation to go, then it makes sense. One step in the right direction. Bro, I'm literally dripping and sweating right now. Can I get the OPP, please? Vlog Carla. We're having, oh we're having hey um, team updates, and by team I updates, you. I mean drama relationship updates in the office. <laughs> no, because Carla, like, f your exams, you have to just come for the night. <laughs> we're gonna go get bagels and everything, but update me, call me when he texts you or whatever. Time is currently 9.42. Before we get everything set up, we're gonna go to the bagel shop, but Daniela is also gonna import all the footage. I wanna show you guys like, more behind the scenes stuff, such as like planning campaigns or, you know, unboxing PR or doing brand deals or just like editing or like the whole process of just planning stuff. Just because I feel like, I don't know, when I wanted to like be a YouTuber and stuff, it would have been cool to see. This is what it's looking like. She has the hard drive plugged in. Typically, if she wasn't here, we would just send it through WeTransfer, but literally, I don't know what this vlog is, so we're gonna have to figure out what this vlog is. It's just footage. Do you wanna go get a bagel? Pa, if you want a bagel. Bagel. Hey! Team bagels. I literally cannot stand wearing Crocs that aren't on sport mode. Oh my god. Ew, you're wearing your Crocs not on sport mode. That's actually yeah. gross. What? Who wears them on sport mode? That's crazy. Me. But it's like so, like, not comfortable. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Right, Sterling? Welcome back to another vlog. That is not how he talks. Welcome back to another vlog, guys. Today, yay, yay. We have a lot of furniture that I have been putting off. Listen, now, I love me a good furniture vlog, but when it involves a Home Depot trip, that's when it starts becoming a little bit real for me. I'm like, that's my mom's job. Speaking of my mom, I cannot wait till she's here. Ooh, what do you mean by that? I don't know either, girl. I don't know. I don't know when this video is coming out. We have a lot of things to do. I've been putting it off for forever, but listen. I'm throwing a little party arty arty tomorrow, which we're gonna get more into details in the next video, which is tonight. I'm literally filming another video after this because your girl's a procrastinator, <laughs> but for good reason though. You know, I'm gonna not be so hard on myself. I've been hard working behind the scenes on what? Alchemy, Alchemy. She's dropping another motherfucking drop. And I know you've been waiting. But girl, so have I. But then it hit her. Boom! Inspiration. And you know what? Drop number two is completed. And what am I working on this week? Drop number three. So, we're working. That's all I gotta say. But it's time. It is time to set up the mirrors. Go get light bulbs for these beautiful lamps, which I'll show you guys. We have all of these artwork pieces that we have to put up. Are you seeing how beautiful these all are? Wow, lots of art. But. We need to hang them up, right? I hope this video is not giving you a headache because I know I'm like going crazy right now. Just got a lot to do and not a lot of time. But you know what? I personally believe that if you persevere and you really think about what you want in life and have a reasoning of why, why do you desire it so much? When you feel the feeling of why you want it and why you deserve it, you can get anything you want. And by that, I mean putting my phone away so that I stop going on TikTok and procrastinating. We are gonna be doing a productive day in my life Penthouse decorating edition. Welcome back to another video. I know you missed me, bitch. If you guys have not subscribed already, what are you doing? I can click on your channel right now and see if you're subscribed or not. Yes, I can stalk you. And uh, bonus points, if you comment down below, I'll click on your profile, see if you're subscribed, and if you are, I'm gonna give you a little kiss. I just had an Alani new energy drink, so that is where the energy's coming from, because I'm not gonna lie, I was slumped all day. I was like actually tanning. Y'all are like, I did not ask. Can you just show me your decorations already? Like, let's get into your vapes. 
But this is my channel. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Did I force you to click on this video and watch? I did not. But I do appreciate you watching, though. I'm not gonna lie. I got this bathing suit. Oh, YouTube, don't demonetize me, okay? I got this bathing suit from um, Heart of Sun Swim. And they did not pay me to say this. Uh, I literally had to spend, I don't even know, 200 bucks on a bikini. But when I tell you it is my favorite bikini in the world, I mean it. Because... Get ready for the jump scare. I'm literally about to flash you guys. Ooh! Like, how beautiful is this? Let me shut the f up and let's head to Home Depot. Mm, what shoes are we gonna pick today? I'm thinking the Cherry Crocs. My Minecraft Crocs, those are in Copenhagen because Amelia decided to jack them from me, even though I literally only had it for a week. For the bitch decided to steal them. Just kidding, I love you, Amelia. I was literally just talking about your mom because I love your mom and I love you, duh. Oh my gosh, we're at Home Depot right now and there are so many flowers and just plants and everything and my mom is gonna eat this up. Like literally, she plants all the time. This is her every single year. My family won like the, the, the flower contest in our town. We live in a small town. It's like we had the most beautiful flowers in the town in front of our house. So she's gonna eat this up because upstairs there's a garden, there's grass and everything. She's gonna have so much fun. Oh my gosh, like look at how beautiful Beautiful all of these are. I cannot wait for you guys to see what the garden's gonna look like. I can't wait to see what the garden's gonna look like. There's like fine herbs and all this stuff. We're gonna have a whole garden upstairs with lettuce, basil, cilantro, everything, bro. Truly. Oh my gosh, I was about to grab a cart and look at these huge palms, bro. How much is it? These are huge. I love it. it it'll make the place seem bigger. These are $49. Like, you see the size of these in comparison to me? Like, it's huge. This is so fun. I love shopping. You with your yerba mate? Oh my gosh. Guys, I need to talk about this. The other day, I posted a picture of my fridge and yerba mate decided to send so many of them because I was begging them to. And so my whole fridge was filled with yerba mate. But then I guess the body armor saw and they were like, uh-uh, mm -mm, no babes, this is, not, this is not the vibe. So then body armor updid them and then sent even more cases. So right now we have like a little competition going on because I'm trying to figure out what drink is my favorite because we have Poppy, which mm, smacks. We have Alani New, we have Yerba Mate, we have Body Armor, we have Celsius. Like I love them all, but I'm kind of living for the rivalry. You know what I mean? First stop, Command Strips. Why? Because these are the best for hanging anything. I've told you guys this. I've hung up literal body mirrors with these. So to the cart they go. I'm also going to get two of these for my bathroom to hang up like my robes or like hoodies that I wear into the cart. They go. Wait, these are so cool. <gasps> Wait, guys, this is so fun. And like this one on the office, employees only. Like, yeah. and the door's locked. It's no. just like, what the f is in caution. there? Maybe a caution. Caution what? This sounds so cringe. We need to worry about her. But like, you know, like fun is about to begin. This one. <laughs> <laughs> caution. Fun is about to begin. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get this one to put over the toilet in the bathroom and then I want to put this one on the office So it's just like what the f like it just makes it like look weird like employees only employees must wash hands before going to work Like I think this is hilarious. So do you think we should get that one or do you think we should get this one? Anytime, We're gonna put it above the toilet, you know because people are gonna sit down and park their butts <laughs> Well, it's for a laugh anyway. Yeah. Like, We're tapping into like a new aesthetic, you know, like Pinterest never no, showed this. No, this is very much like street, mm -hmm, graffiti, mm -hmm. like my your... random board, you know? Oh, I feel like my mom right now. I want this for my bathroom to set something over top of. Let's put that in. Wait, what is this? Oh, for USB-C. Uh, they are so smart. So I'm going to actually get two of these. I'm going to get one of these for my living room. It'd be the like this that makes your life so much easier. I'm like, do we need any cleaning supplies? I'm like, for these. Oh, I do need new sponges though. My little scrub daddies are getting a little bit crusty, dusty, musty. They, oh, they have these in sponges, but I guess they're not selling them right now, but I need a new one of these because the ones in my sink have been there for a minute. Do I actually need it? No. Do I want it? Yeah. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. Raven just suggested this is such a good idea to put in the middle of the dining room table because we like sit in the dining room table and like work because we all just do different things and it's like motivating to be all in the same room. So this would be good since we all, oh, have to charge our stuff to the cart. Um, the lighting is real good in here right now. I'm not gonna lie. I want to get more security cameras too. I just feel more safe. Ah, the cart section. I love me and my carts. We love her. So I think we're gonna get her. Oh, welcome to Home Depot. Is that everything for you? Yeah, perfect. Did you find everything you needed today? Amazing. Please add or decline. The Home Depot. Decline. Any replacement plan? That. Please add or decline. Decline. Oh, a rubber mallet. Does it look like I got one of those right now? Excuse me, sir. Do you know how to do this? Waka waka. Waka waka. I'm so happy. Money's turning. And I love going to Home Depot. Slay. 
Such a sleigh. Amazing, let's go get our plant, guys. Me and my new plant for $50. Save money, live better. Not us literally ripping this Drake poster to bring it home. I love you, Drake. Like, like literally doing this like middle of the day. Bro, this is so lit. Hello everyone, it is the morning of the party. Now you may be like, okay, I'm confused. What are you talking about? So I live in New York City now and my two roommates finally just moved in. I was like, what a perfect time to have a housewarming party. Now, listen, I don't have parties. Like I really don't. Last year I had one, but I didn't even know anyone in New York. I wouldn't have considered it a party. And when I was younger, I never really had, actually when I was younger, I had parties all the time. Like in my hometown, I had parties all the time, but it was just because like, I don't know. But I don't know about you guys, but I have this thing where it's just like when I host something, when I do something, da 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 da. It's like you make a list, right? And you're like, oh my god, like is enough people gonna come? And I think that like all of the stuff that happened when I was a kid, I don't know. I was left out as a kid, I feel like. I was annoying. But that annoying mind when she was younger got her where she is today. So we love her. But I don't know. And when I was younger and I had birthdays and stuff like that, I never had anyone plan a party for me or anything. I don't know. I would always be the one having to do that. So I would plan the whole party, set everything up, go to the dollar store, buy everything, send out the invites just for only my cousins to come, which shout out to y'all for coming and making me feel special. But like, it wasn't even for my friends. Like I just wasn't cool in school, but I also wasn't white and I lived in a town called White Court. So you already know how that added up. But you know, when we're older, I'm gonna rewrite the narrative and uh, have my own party. I'm currently self tanning and it's 9 a.m. in the morning. I just got finished with a run, but I'm just like, gotta look good, you know? And I tried tanning yesterday, but literally nothing happened, nothing. But I'm using the Bondi Sands Aero Aerated Self Tanning Foam. This is the best self tanner ever. Just anything Bondi Sands, love it. I'm gonna finish self tanning the rest of my body and then we're gonna set everything up. Today is a busy, busy, busy day. I also have a friend, I have a friend flying in from London. I've never met him before. So me and you both are gonna be meeting him as well. I'm honestly a little bit scared to host because I'm like, what the f Like, I know I have it in me. Trust me, I know I have it in me, but like, I'm just like, Ooh, you never know. Is currently well I've showered first of all so I'm tan now time is currently 3 18 and faces just arrived and you're like whose faces I don't know either I've never met him I literally found him on TikTok and now he's here but there's a lot to do okay but I'm honestly not too stressed because every time I've been getting stressed today I've been reminding myself that I'm literally having this party for fun like there's no ulterior motive so why am I getting stressed out like I'm supposed to be having fun at the end of it all so who gives a not me. Um, whoa, 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 jump scare, jump scare. This plant for $50 was actually amazing. Best Buy really hooked it up. But we have all of the alcohol, literally all of the juices and stuff. So gotta organize the fridge. And we also have the disco ball, which let's just unbox it for fun, y'all. This is so gas. My mom told me to do this. Oh, oh, no, we're good. All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Today is a Sunday, and y'all know what that means. A little Sunday reset day. I don't know why I said y'all know what that means as if like I do this often, I don't. So I woke up this morning and I rotted right there, right there in bed. Not for one hour, not for two, not for three, not for four, not for five, but, but, but some hours and I was literally just on my phone. Today has really been like a fun addiction day, but like y'all know when you post something on the gram or something and it makes you be real active on the media. But anyways, we have a lot to do. The room's a mess, but I'm not even surprised. I've been going out. I went out, I had a house party on Thursday and the house was clean from that, but I've just been going out, getting ready. And y'all know when a girl goes out, she she don't got time to clean up after herself while she's getting ready. So this is what the bathroom's looking like. Um, A mess, but it's honestly not even bad. It's just clothes on the floor and things to put away. Like realistically, this take me maybe 30 minutes to clean all together. But I just don't want to, I don't want to. But the living room is really clean. Truly, like it's honestly not bad at all. I do have to bring out the rest of the chairs because we had to put these away when all the guests came and stuff like that. But it is pretty clean in my opinion. But girl, I have no food in my fridge. This is not my food, it's 
my roommates. But this is my section. It's giving rabbit. It's giving hamster. We gotta go grocery shopping too is basically what I'm trying to say. This week is actually gonna be a very busy week. I go to San Diego on Thursday because it's Kaylee's graduation. If you guys don't know, can someone stop blowing up my phone? Oh my God. Just kidding. It's a hinge boy. So yeah, I go to San Diego on Thursday and then Tuesday and Wednesday I have, I have events on events on events. I'm sounding so influencer-ish, but what the fuck am I? What am I? I've been hibernating for the past couple months. You know, it's been winter and I haven't popped out to an event since like, September, but I've just recently tried to more. So I want to show you guys the behind the scenes and everything because I know everything you see on IG, it looks like so cool. But I want to show you guys like the real shit. Nothing like crazy happens, but like it's just like, you know, the process behind it, like how it happens and all that because I want you guys to come along with me. But time is currently almost four o'clock. I have not eaten today yet. I've had a smoothie though. I did tan this morning. So let's go get some food. Also, look at my baby Drake is up in my apartment now. Me and Kaylee decided to rip this off of the wall in New York City. Because listen, it's actually illegal to put these posters up in New York. So we're trying to manifest going to his concert, but it's just the ticket prices are crazy. But um, if Cash App, uh, OVO Sound, Visa, Sprite. Oh my God, I literally have a Sprite in my fridge. Live Nation or SXM wants to send me. Please send me to every single night and I will give you the content. I love Drake. Also, I was trying to get Brent Fias tickets. What the f I was on four laptops and like I had Kaylee helping me as well and we couldn't get them. They were all sold out. So I literally have been wanting to see Brent for so long. <sighs> But whatever. I also think that I have a Dominic Fike obsession, but I'm not allowing myself to because the thing about me is I hate having a crush. It consumes me. I know some people think it's fun. I don't think it's fun. I think it consumes me and it's annoying. It's like, I don't want to think about you if you don't even know who I am. You know what I mean? Ugh, yesterday's fit was so slay. I think I'm just going to wear the same thing again. I'm just going to, I'm going to put it on, okay? Y'all, y'all don't need the whole process, okay? That was a transition. No. Ready? I'm going to walk by. Was that an ass transition? Um, anyways, this is the outfit. I actually am not gonna wear the one that I wore yesterday because it's a little too extra right now. I just don't wanna, I, I just, it's too much effort. So we're gonna be wearing this today. I'm looking five feet two right now, but it's probably because I am. These jeans are from Jaded London, but like two years ago, bro. I'm so sorry. Uh, this belt is into archive and then this is from DKNY, but I got it from Rogue Garms in New York City. It's like a thrift store. Do I wanna accessorize? No. Should I? Probably. But with what though? With what? Uh, I'm just gonna put on literally whatever. I'm gonna wear this one. Ah, I broke it! Fuck. Okay, no accessories. I wish I had a baseball cap. Actually, I don't, because I have to wear my helmet to go out. So now I don't wish I had a baseball cap. I just wanna eat food, that's all. I just wanna rock. Uh, I need clean socks. I don't know where any of my clean socks are, so we're gonna rewear them. But listen, they're clean, okay? Don't come for me. Don't come for me. These are gonna be the sunglasses of choice today into archive. All right, should I wear perfume? Okay, I'm gonna wear the Marc Jacobs Paradise one. It smells so sweet, so fresh, love it. Looking a little bit crazy right now, but I think it's a part of the vibe. Bro, I come out here, my bike is dead. I thought I charged it. <laughs> I love heirloom tomatoes because when you cut them, they're so pretty. What is this? Girl, bye. The best apples ever are the envy apples. You guys have to try them. They're just like naturally sweet, but like in a different way. Try them. They're my favorite. Alright, got the groceries on. Time? Time on. All right, I just got back from my run and grocery shopping. I got a bunch of good groceries and that was my first time running at Prospect Park and it was so nice. My headphones were not staying in though, which was annoying, but I wanna go there every single day. It just feels so much more funny, funny? No, it feels so much more fun running in like a park than it does like in the same streets every single day. But I just posted on my spam account that I've been running every single day for probably about like a week and a half straight now. Not every single day maybe like four or five times a week. And then the days that I don't run, I try to just step on the treadmill for at least like three minutes to get the habit in or put on my workout clothes. But running is the hardest workout to actually get into, like enjoy it, you know, because the first couple times you're gonna run, you're gonna be like, oh, I hate this, it's so hard. But once you get past and push it past that point, running becomes like the easiest and most mindless workout ever. And it's actually really, really, really good for you. So. Um, yeah, because I used to hate running a lot. I hate it, I hate it, hate it. I never understood it. And then I forced myself to do it. But I'm gonna take a shower. A part of the new routine. 
is go on a run and take a shower. This workout set is from Set Active, by the way. The top is definitely too small, but I love the colors and Set Active always has the most like snatched workout sets. Okay, my camera has no more storage on it, so we're switching to the phone. But I have this Poppy root beer, which if you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with Poppy. The raspberry one's your favorite. But I saw this in the store and I'm like, I've never tried this before. This has zero sugar. Wait, never mind. That was a lie. This has four grams of added sugar, but not bad, not bad. If a drink has anything, oh, oh my God. It tastes like root beer if it was less sugary. It's like really good. Oh my God, I think Poppy might be like one of my favorite drinks. I'm not gonna lie. But I made some avocado toast. But the thing is y'all, did you guys see the way that I was smashing it in the avocado? Less plates. But you gotta add some lemon in there and then do a base of pesto. It just makes it so much better. And the feta, the feta is the kicker. But I also just made a smoothie. Guys, the best smoothie ever is typically strawberries. I just use a berry mix. You can use anything. But you have to add like apple juice and orange juice. And it tastes so good with, it, with anything that you make. And then I also added some pea protein in there, which is just basically like unflavored protein powder. That's plant-based because anything else makes me break out i'll link that down below i've also been drinking that for a minute but breakfast is served i'm now gonna sit over there and we're gonna get some work done it is the next day i have quite a bit of things to put up in my closet because of new laundry i'm trying to clean it as we go but as you guys see you know girl things happen and sometimes you're late and you don't have time to put things up but i think that's what i like to tell myself so let's clean this whole thing and forgot to record. I didn't click the record button. Clean. East and west, I'm racking up on my brand. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest all night long. She putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest.